Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Avantech wireless doorbell. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So it lists some features on the back here. It says extreme low power consumption and super long battery life of up to three years, 52 optional melodies, easy to choose between the next and previous melodies, built in 1.1 inch, 29 millimeter stereo speaker delivers rich and crisp sound, provides a massive 1,000 foot 300 meter wireless distance range depending on the operating environment. The transmitter is IP55 dust proof and water resistant, fit for various outdoor environments. Memory function adds convenience. It remembers your last set melody and volume level. Okay, so let's get this open. So we have two parts here. This is the receiver and this is the transmitter. This also has some mounting hardware here. There's a double-sided foam tape for mounting, and we have the user manual. So the manual is in English, German, and French. So the transmitter uses a CR2032 battery. So that's a very common lithium cell, and this comes with the transmitter, receiver, adhesive tape, key, two screws, two anchors, and user manual. Here's product profile. We have an LED on the receiver, a volume button, previous button, next button, and then we have an LED on the push button transmitter. And I'm guessing that lights up on the transmitter when you press the button. It's not going to be lit all the time. So the receiver working voltage is AC110 to 260 volts. Sound pressure level is less than or equal to 115 dB. Receiver AC power consumption is less than 0.25 watts. Working frequency is 433.92 megahertz. We already talked about the battery. The working temperature is minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. Battery lifetime three years. So this is going to work on a frequency similar to a garage door opener. So this talks about the features. They estimate a three-year lifetime if you're using it 10 to 15 times a day. So there are many factors that can cause that to vary, but the thing to know is this will last a long time. I once had a doorbell that had batteries in their receiver and transmitter and I might get a month or two out of the batteries but this receiver plugs in so you don't even have batteries in this so that's very convenient. So it's easy to set up press and hold the volume button on the receiver for three seconds and the LED will blink. Press the button on the transmitter to complete pairing. It talks about the 52 optional melodies. This talks about energy efficiency, range, okay and these are just the features we've already looked over already. This talks about the transmitter battery installation so it comes with a key in the package. Let's pull that out. That's here. So you'll stick the key in the bottom here and twist. Okay, so that's opened up that gap. Pull that open, like so. And we have a tab in here, I'll pull this out. So this just isolates the battery for shipping. So now the battery is fresh. So I'll place this in here, snap it closed, and we have film on the button itself. So there we go. So now if we press it, we see that green light light up. I like that aspect of it. A lot of times when you have doorbells, you press them, you don't know if you actually pressed it. So when people press this, they'll see that green light and they'll have a confirmation that they pressed it all the way. Then it talks about how to mount this. So you can use the foam mounting tape. So that's a super easy way to mount it. You can also use these screws and there are knockouts on the back of this that you would knock out for the screws. So to pair this, it says to plug the receiver into an outlet. So I'll plug that in. Let's see if this just works. Okay, so that's already paired, but if you do need to pair it, it says press and hold the volume button on the receiver for three seconds to enter pairing mode. The indicator will blink. Press the transmitter and the receiver will chime ding dong to indicate the pairing is complete. And it says there are 52 melodies for the doorbell kit. Press the next button for the next melody and the previous for the last one. A volume adjustment, there are five volume levels in total and minimum volume is silent. Press the volume button to select a lower volume level. When the volume reaches its minimum, press the button again and it will turn to the maximum. Notes here, it says do not place the transmitter in areas close to metals. The working distance varies with blockage from different ambient environments. Use the product properly to prolong its lifespan. Never repair the interior circuit to prevent destroying the inside electronic components. And here are some troubleshooting tips you can read through if you have any issues. So I'm going to pull this out here so we can take a closer look at it. So you'll plug this in somewhere in your house. So this is the thickness of it here. It has the buttons on the side for volume and next and previous tracks. So you could plug this in in your living room, kitchen. You could hide it behind a couch. It's quite loud. You could potentially even take this with you if you're waiting for a package and you're going into your basement Basement, you could take this into your basement. So let's plug this back in. So I have this plugged into a power meter here. Let's just see how much power it's taking right now. Not enough to show up. So keeping this plugged in isn't drawing a lot of electricity. I'm sure it's drawing some, but it's not enough to even register on my meter here. So let's try this volume button. Okay, so now we're on silent. So when I press it again, it's going to go to the loudest. Okay, this is the quieter mode. So if I press the doorbell, that will set that off. Let's try some of the different melodies. So we have a rooster there. Now if I go back, it's going to go to the previous melody.
Now it said if the power goes out, it retains the setting. So I'll turn this off. I'll turn it back on, press this. Okay, it retained the setting, so that's really nice. So if the power goes out, you're not going to lose your setting. Okay, so I'll click through these different chime sounds. I'm probably not going to click through all of them, but we'll get a sampling. Okay, so there's a sampling of the chimes. There's a great variety there. There's some that are just sounds and some are almost like whole songs. So I'm going to go outside and I'll press this button and we'll see if this triggers. I am in the basement, so we'll have to go down a level and through all the walls to get to this. Okay, that worked great. So there are a number of different uses for a doorbell like this. If you don't have a doorbell on your house, or maybe you have one and it's not working, you can easily install this system. You just plug this in on the inside and you can use this double stick tape to tape it to the outside door. There are other uses for this too. Say you have a small business and you have a loading dock and you want a doorbell next to it. You could hire an electrician for hundreds of dollars to install one, or you could just double stick tape this next to the door and then install this where people can hear it. And then you have a doorbell installed. You could also put this at a gate near the road. Super easy to install since you don't have to run a wire to it. And since this has a thousand foot range, unless you're really far away from your front gate, this should reach the receiver. So that's the Vantech wireless doorbell. So wireless doorbells have come a long way from my first one I ever had. It had the big batteries in it that died really quick. This is the right combination for a doorbell to have that coin cell in the transmitter and have the receiver plug into the wall. That way you can get years out of it before you even have to touch the battery. I like the simplicity of using this. It's super easy to change the volume. You have one button here and you press it until it has the volume you want to hear. And then you can press up and down to go through the different melodies. So they really couldn't have made that much easier. I do like that they have an up and down for the melodies since there's so many. So if you go to one, you don't really like it, and you want to go back to the previous one, you can just hit the back button. The volume has four volume levels, so it's pretty easy to just cycle through those. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.